When I was 12 years old, I thought the sun was going to explode. Its rays of entropy would flay cities and evaporate oceans, unraveling the graves beneath. A beacon in the sky with an appetite for solar systems. For everything. Each day I would watch, I would listen, so I could unclench my fingers and be the very first to know. This was also around the time I walked the shoreline at a lake and met eyes with the smallest fawn I had ever seen. White spots unaware how perfectly they were placed on her back, like the sun was gifting a spotlight just for her. We looked at each other, didn't move, and then my dogs, they saw her. Then the mother across the cove, motionless, listening to her baby scream like the water boiled her from the inside, like the little stars had been smothered, lunging, unruly, relentless, they were curious, they were ugly, they are animals, and they came back home with me their thoughtless way. Some days I go back to that spot and look for her in the shallows of a lake dense with angels. And I still hear her cry. Later I learned that deer can be active under twilight and can tell the difference between dawn and dusk. If you meet one, they'll tell you. Go with the first color you see. Go you may find that dusk is softer, less demanding. You may find your eyelid pink from the ache of dawn, your skin plastic and translucent from the 6 a.m. newscast, or from bad sleep. The regular, a skewed yellow dream where you see the sun turn around and leave, and each of your brothers wave from a fragment of star. Earth is the darkest you've ever seen. At noon, the sun is directly above my head. And if I move a muscle, will it fall? And will I turn into dust, or fractals, or wrinkles like much folded paper, or blow away like a dandelion girl? hold eyes with its movement until it's night and I've left my room to sleep on the end of my parents' bed where other constellations lean toward each other and are too bright to just be stars. I've spent many days reaching just over that lake, waiting for the shades of eve to melt into my palms, catching molten rock between my fingers so I could drink from cupped hands that feeling that one noon, the sun will unbind its tether and release moths into the air. And for just a minute, the soul will creep out of the tree and rain will steam and bees will drop mid-air like seeds. Now I stand at the mirror I built with a deer. The trees sway and talk to each other, and each blade of grass gets a turn in the shade. Just above the horizon, the light dances over a leaf song, and kisses the last tree of the day. The outside world continues apace, and only I can see how lucky they are. The last tree to feel the light. In those little white spots, fall into the water.
that she gets out this time. Untouched. Glistening. And walks back into the woods behind her.